Tuesday from geekanoids.co.uk and this is part three of my Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference coverage and I'm going to be bringing you some details about the new iPhone OS 3.0 now this is touted as having a hundred new features and I'm not going to cover all of them here because this is only a short overview of what you can expect from the new iPhone OS now to kick things off we have the much wanted cut, copy, paste and undo and this works across all applications so you can cut and copy from notes, paste them into emails uh, fantastic for copying across appointments um, for passwords etc so really really welcome addition we're also getting um, support for MMS uh, now multimedia messaging service should have been really in my opinion included in the first iteration of the iPhone OS but we've had to wait until now it requires um, uh, support from the carriers and this is available from all the carriers except AT&T so it will come later on if you're on the AT&T network uh, we're also getting tethering so you can actually connect your iPhone uh, to your laptop and use it as a uh, modem so you can use your iPhone's interconnect, internet connection and again this requires carrier support um, and it will be supported by 22 different carriers uh, but again AT&T is not listed and it will come perhaps later on if AT&T decide they will allow tethering on their network. Okay, JavaScript has been speeded up in the new iPhone OS up to three times faster compared to the previous version and there's also support for HTTP streaming of audio and video so you're not reliant on perhaps using the YouTube application you can actually stream within the Safari browser so that's a fantastic addition to the new OS. There's also been a demo of something called scroll motion which actually creates digital versions of books uh, for the iPhone store, for the App Store. So what this actually means to the customer is that you can actually read magazines and newspapers and over one million books uh, which are available via the App Store on your iPhone. So this is something that's going to compete possibly with Amazon's Kindle service. Uh, within these books and magazines and, and newspapers, you can also uh, purchase and link direct to uh, items that are available within the magazine. So that's absolutely fantastic because it brings a whole new way of uh, these magazines actually selling to members of the general public. So something else that's fantastic is... Um, uh, TomTom, the navigation company, uh, Apple snubbed this early on in the iPhone's life cycle saying that it wouldn't actually be coming to the iPhone but we have got the new TomTom application coming to the iPhone it includes text to speech to announce directions uh, you get turn by turn directions and there's also an optional accessory that safely attaches the um, iPhone to your car uh, the accessory also um, improves the GPS accuracy and it also allows the iPhone to play back those turn by turn directions through your car stereo so sounds absolutely fantastic I'll be very keen to learn when this is going to be available for the iPhone um, because it will certainly be on my shopping list there are a lot more uh, features added to the iPhone 3OS and um, I will bring you the full details of those in my overview of the software in an upcoming video. Uh, before I sign off on this update I'll just let you know that the iPhone 3OS will be available free to all iPhone users, that's the 3G users and the original first generation iPhone users and it's uh, going to be a 9.99 uh, upgrade for iPod Touch users 
which will probably equate to around about sort of seven pounds, eight pounds in the UK. It will be available worldwide in just about a week's time on June the 17th. So fantastic news there. Thanks very much for listening. Uh, tune in to my YouTube channel over the next few hours and I'll be bringing you yet more updates from Apple's WWDC for 2009.